Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please be a witness for that for over 200 now videos on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers and some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. As always, just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel, so every little thing I do create, I post it completely free on the channel, including the calls and the videos I do create. And not just any random videos, it's actually questions and requests by people that have issues with their Shopify store. So it's a win-win situation, but it's your decision. I let you decide and I respect your decision. Just a like button if this video helped you out. Even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to provide you the information you need in order to do the thing you're trying to do. And here I am again, back with another requested video as always, which is how to show the payment icons below the buy it now button on the Shopify product page and icon the payment icon is actually the Visa icon, MasterCard and so on. I think you are already familiar with those, right? So in this video, I will show you how to add them below the buy it now button by using our own custom code as always. We don't use any apps for things. We only use our own custom code. If you are wondering why is that? Because it's actually faster for your Shopify store to function when it has codes instead of apps. That's really obvious and simple. And without any more talking, Let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard and they have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every tutorial I do create, I do demonstration in the video on down team because it's the most used one. Also is the most requested one from people. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free Shopify teams, the most used ones again, which is refresh, spotlight, taste, sense and trade. And if you are wondering why is that? Because I do actually try the codes. Every code I do share, I do try it behind the scenes on all of these teams so I'd make sure that even if you're not using down using one of these should work for you just fine even if it didn't so drop me a comment as I said I will be happy to help you out and I just have to say this in the beginning so I give you that peace of mind because you're gonna see me doing it on down team and you might be thinking oh maybe it's not working for the others no it is and here is your peace of mind and without the way to just get to it and show you how to show or add the payment icons below the buy it now button on your Shopify store and this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So every little thing that you see in the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials, literally everything. So if you saw anything in the Shopify store that you liked and you think it looks good and you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel because once it's here, that means it's already done in one of my previous videos. I don't remove the changes from here. I keep them so people can see them. But what I'm talking about again in this video is this one right here. Let me access this product. Oh yeah. Add to cart shaking effect on the add to cart or order WhatsApp button or make an inquiry. It's a lot of videos, so make sure to check out channel for the last time. I will not say it anymore. What I'm talking about in this video is showing the payment icons below the buy it now in here. And they will be shown in here by using our own custom call. So as always, we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So let's just get back, or actually, we will not do that actually. So just get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, teams, and click on customize button right here. And now you might be thinking, oh, it's already available on the team editor. No, it's not. We will add it by using our own custom code, as I said. After that, we are on the home page on the team editor. Make sure to access a product. Let me just click on this one actually, which will redirect us to the product, not this one. Or let's just keep it on this one. So we will add the payments icons below the buy it now in here as you can see and to do that the first thing you're going to do hit over to the left panel right here when it says template and below product information tab there is text title price and so on scroll all the way down you will see add block below it in here click on add block and it will show you this prompt right here scroll down a little bit and you will see custom liquid click on custom liquid and a prompt will show up on the right panel this time which is liquid call right here a section where you can need to pass in some code and where are you gonna get that code you need to hire a developer pay him with 24 hours i'm just joking scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code 
click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page right here with this beautiful code as you can see and this code is completely free no pay please no share please not like that just the like button if this video helped you out so select the whole code in here make sure to select the whole thing after that right click copy and we will get back in here and paste it in the custom liquid section in here and after that if we click on save they already shown up but they shown up down here at the bottom we need them below to buy it now easy you see here where we add the custom liquid this is the section that we did add which is the last one so simply click on hold and drag it up below the buy buttons in here let go now we get back here they are below the buy it now button just like I promised as always so click on the save button we'll wait for a couple of seconds we'll get back in here reload the page and ta-da here they are below the buy it now button as i promised as i said so if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one